welcome to Shooting the Breeze. My name is Tanya Kappas and I am a cozy mystery author who is excited to bring you a fun podcast where we answer reader questions and bring you amazing interviews from your favorite cozy mystery authors. Come hang out and let's just shoot the breeze. Hi, and welcome back to Shooting the Breeze. My name is Tanya Kappas, and today I am so excited that we are here with Shay. And is it, uh, we're going to start this over. Is, how, is it McLeod? Yes, McLeod. Shay uh, McLeod. Yeah, yeah. See, mm-hmm. I, I said, okay, we're going to start this all over. You ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Shooting the Breeze. I'm Tanya Kappas, and we are here today with Shea McLeod. I'm so excited to have her here. She is also a Twisty Tales and Cozy Crimes Prolific Works Promotions author, and her book, oh my gosh, we have another one set. I'm thinking the 20s here. So uh, when is it? When's it set it's, in? It's the 30s. The 30s. Yeah. So I was yeah. looking at the thing because we yeah. um, recently talked with Benedict Brown, who's in the 20s. And so yeah. I'm loving these covers. So this is Shea's, it's Lady Rample and the Lady in the Lake. Now, I love the title because every time I say lady in the lake, I get chills because I'm like, oh, that means a body. It has to be a body. Of course it's a body. Come on. (laughs) We love those bodies. Oh, yeah. Read a little bit about Shaya. She is the author of Cozy Mystery and Paranormal Women's Fiction. She has dreamed of writing novels since before she could hold a crayon. She totally blames her mother. Don't we love to blame our mothers? Mm -hmm. Uh, She resides (laughs) in the leafy green hills outside of Portland, Oregon, where she indulges in her fondness for strong coffee, me too, girl, Mm -hmm. vintage cocktails, afternoon tea, and dragons. Because everything is always better with dragons. Yes, it is. Shay, I mean, maybe not a cozy mystery, but you never know. <laughs> I mean, back then, you know, mm. maybe there were dragons and yeah. um, cozy. There's always a cozy. There's all. I mean, people put pigs. People put mice. <laughs> so why not a dragon? Right? And cozy, so why not a dragon? <laughs> she is the author of the popular Lady Rample mystery set in the 1930s London, as well as the post. World War II Sugar Martin Vintage Cozy Mysteries. She also writes a contemporary cozy series, Viola Roberts Cozy Mysteries, and the Paranormal Cozy Series, Deepwood Witches. She is currently working on her Paranormal Woman's Fiction Series, Season of the Witch, as well as the Dream Factory, a Magical Realism Series, co-written with Linda Mercury. Mm-hmm. Welcome, Shay. You. you got a lot going on, girl. Yeah, I like to write all the things. <laughs> yeah, you're good at it. You are good at it. You are very popular with the Cozy Mysteries and the Paranormal Cozy, as well as the women's fiction, which, you know, that just came on the scene, what, a couple of years ago, really yeah. strong. And, yeah. and I think you've had a foot in that since the beginning, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, I got started pretty early on and I kind of like combine my cozy, like my paranormal cozies with the paranormal women's fiction. Yeah. So it's kind of like a mishmash of the two, which is really fun. So it is. Well, and you know, it's kind of a fine line I've noticed. Yeah. It is um, yeah. with a lot of people, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it for totally. sure. <laughs> yeah, and then today we're here to talk about the Lady Rample and the Lady mm. in the Lake. Mm-hmm. So this is part of your series, correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you want to tell us a bit about the series first? Yeah. So the series um, literally came to me in a dream, as these things <gasps> do. <laughs> yeah. I you. totally. <laughs> I totally had this dream of Lady Rample and I just saw her. She was just clear as day. And I, it was like, I just knew her. And it took me, took me about a year before I wrote the first book, um, Lady Rample Steps Out. And she's um, in her, her mid, well, when the series starts, it's 1932. She's in her mid thirties. She's um, a, a widow and she's very wealthy so it allows her to do things that other women at that time couldn't do um because she's got that cushion of wealth so she gets up to all kinds of shenanigans with her best friend chaz uh her aunt buddy who's very eccentric and loves wild hats um 
you know, she drives too fast. She drinks a little too much um, and occasionally stumbles. Okay. More than occasionally stumbles on a dead body. <laughs> and then of course, you know, she has to figure are. out what happened. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I started writing her back in, I, I think it was 2017 when I published the first book or 18. So no, cool. this is the first, yeah, this is the first yeah. book and you just mm -hmm. came out in September with the 11th, correct? That's right. Yeah. So Lady Rample and the Mystery at the Museum is the 11th book in the series. And it came out, yeah, in September, right before um, Twisty Tales and Cozy Crimes, prolific works went live with Lady Rample and the Lady in the Lake. So she kind of falls in between timeline. She falls in between book 10 and 12, oh, sorry, 10 and 11. But it's, you can read it at any time because it's not, all of the books are contained you know, as a lot of cozies are, they're all kind of contained stories. So you can kind of pick them up willy nilly yeah, we as you will. Yeah, we were saying earlier um, that a lot of people always say, oh, you know, what we found is um, some of our readers are like, oh, where does this fall in the series? And we're like, oh, mm -hmm. well, you can always, most cozy mysteries, a lot of readers are like, they see these long series, like your 11 books, and they're like, right. oh, it's is it over? Because I don't like to read a series until it's like completely done. So I can just binge <laughs> it. I'm like, yeah. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know, that's not really how cozy series work. No, like, mine will right go forever, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, all it's the right. only, and I always say to readers, what makes my cozy and 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 Shay's uh, series as well as the other Twisty Tales re authors is that mm -hmm. we're all mysteries. All the mystery is tied up in each book. Right. Uh, the subplot might go on, but mm -hmm. really what makes it a series is the main sleuth and usually the sidekicks and the small yeah. town or, or whatever it is. So uh, in your series, mm -hmm. is she always in the same small town or did they travel? No, they, she travels. Uh, the first the first book actually takes place in London, mostly in a jazz club. Um, and the second book uh, takes place like in a nearby, like little, little village, like in a manor house, the village manor house, you know, and the third book actually takes place in Hollywood, like, oh, you know, the silver incredible. screen and she may or may not meet Gary Cooper and, you know, so like, you know, all the, you know, and Aunt Buddy is chasing Gary Cooper around because oh she thinks God. he's handsome, you know, it's like, you yes. know, she's, she falls in with mobsters, you know, book four takes place in the South of France. So, um, and then we come back to England, back to London. So it, most of them take place in London, but they, she kind of travels around. So this particular one, Lady in the Lake, uh, takes place in the Lake District um which i visited um when i was living i used to live in london actually oh, so yes yeah. so um i visited uh the lake district and it's so beautiful and gorgeous and it's like all the it's a wonderful place to set a, a cozy mystery it's so perfect so she and aunt buddy are on they decided to take a holiday go off to the lake district for a while and um so, yeah, I, d I deliberately wrote this to be completely contained uh, to introduce you kind of to these characters, even if you've never read the story, I mean, the series. So you can just pick it up and read it and enjoy it and see if you like the series. Um, oh, they're going to love it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it so was so fun. Read <laughs> the description for Lady Ramble and Lady in the Lake. In dire need of a holiday, Lady Rample sets out for the Lake District where she finds herself in the midst of a local gingerbread war. And yes, that adds daft as it sounds, at least in her opinion. I love it. What meant to be a relaxing holiday turns into a mystery when Lady Rample stumbles first upon a tale of a sea monster and then the very real body of a young woman in the local lake. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Lady Rample has several allies close at hand to help unravel the clues to this unusual mystery. Enjoy this delightful Lady Rample mystery, a warm and funny cozy mystery set in the 1930s England and look for the first Lady Rample mystery, Lady Rample Steps Out, available at online retailers. And that just Ooh. sounds like so much fun. Like the gingerbread, that's even like, so that's a holiday kind of thing. It so. kind of is. So it's not probably there. 
Well, not, no, not, well, not, I mean, yes and no. Um, the Lake District is famous for its gingerbread. And there's a particular little town called Grassmere, which is super famous. Like it's got, so the gingerbread war that I, is kind of loosely based on true facts. Like it really, like, yeah, because um, there were lots of different recipes for this famous, you know, gingerbread and there was like this woman invented this one and this person invented this one and this hotel was selling this one and then there was sort of like this battle royale between gingerbreads about who was really the original gingerbread you know yeah. having tried the the grass smear gingerbread it's it's incredible it's not it's not like our gingerbread it's kind of halfway between cake and cookie it's, it's, it's real stuff it oh, is so good. Like, yeah, it is. It is good. But like, so I had to include that because it's just, I mean, fighting over gingerbread is just so ridiculous. But there, I mean, there is a lot of money in it. So oh, yeah. I had to, I had to include that. Um, the sea monster thing is based on a real sea monster uh, story that I don't want to spoil anything, but I just, it originally actually happened in, I think it was Maine in the 1930s. So okay. I just kind of plucked it up and moved it to the Lake District because why not? You know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, so we, we take uh, things from reality and make it, you know, story, yeah. you know, they say, you know, yeah, you know, music for that. And I love that. And I love that you actually use real um, town, real village um, yeah. set back in the 30s. And I, you know, I don't, I've, I've uh, amazed at historical. Uh, writers especially cozy mystery because there are things in there like if if i can't make it up it, i'm not looking it up so we <laughs> uh, really have to do some research i mean yeah. you really do yeah. like i could say oh it's a flapper dress but is that really that's not even from the 20s and 30s right isn't that well, that's, like, the, that's the 20s by the 30s you know, they were see, yeah. i don't know but I'm just, <laughs> you guys have to do that so yes yeah. yeah, so how long does it take you to research a book or because you're pretty prolific you put books out quite a lot yeah so exactly. um in in th this particular series it, it is historical so it how is. accurate to those facts do you get so research behind that I'm kind of trying to be more like I'm not like trying to be a historical uh fiction I, I'm trying to be more like a BBC costume drama where I'm trying to give you the feel of the era. So you feel like you're in the thirties, but right. I'm not trying to get to like every little nitty gritty. I do like to throw in real stories or real people here and there, like Gary Cooper or Cary Grant, you know, mm -hmm. or things like that. But, um, but I don't go into like these deep, deep details. And I love doing research, but again, like I just kind of want to have this, it's more about the feeling for me than it is about getting into the nitty gritty, whatever. But I do research. So like when I'm talking about the gingerbread, like these are things that really happened. I just fictionalized them. When I'm talking about cocktails she's drinking, these are cocktails that were actually popular in the era. Um, and I have literally made those cocktails and drunk them for your benefit. <laughs> so that I do this for my you, my readers, so that I can pop, yeah, so that I can describe it. If I'm describing food that they're serving, that's actual food that they had. Like I put, I think in one of them uh, in the museum one, I put in banana cake, which was a thing that they started making at that time because they had all these bananas that were going bad. So they create like they started baking banana cake. It was kind of exotic or whatever, you know. So. um and I put that in there and, um, you know, I've, you know, I've, if I'm describing the clothes, it's clothes that I've actually looked up online, like from museums or ads from the time. Um, I've looked up now, a lot of times I'll change the names of things, but I will actually look up floor plans. So in the mystery at the museum, for instance, okay. If you've ever been to England, you know I'm talking about the British Museum, but I call it the Museum of Britain, okay. <laughs> and I fictionalize okay. it. But I did, I did actually look up the floor plan of the museum at the time, or as close to the time as I could get, so I could kind of get. And I've been to the British Museum several times, so, okay. but of course it's all new. You know, they add on and whatever. It's not like it looked in 1930. So, um, but I kind of you know so I kind of fictionalized it but I also kind of had the floor plan so I'm kind of looking at it going okay so how did this work you know so um 
yeah, I'm a little bit nuts, but um, yeah, I, uh, I do, I do a lot of research. So, but I kind of do it as I go along a little bit. And then of course I've been writing it so long at this point, so many books that I have a really good feel for things at this point. And so um, I also watch movies that are actually from the era that are set in the era. So I can get the feel for the like clothes hearing and things. yeah, I'm just, because they even talk that, well, at least in the movies anyway, they kind of had a different syntax of how they talk, syntax mm -hmm. of how they talk. So, you know, and I throw in a little, like, you know, a little bit of slang from the era, you know, and whatnot. So, because, you know, yeah, well, <laughs> that's all part of the fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And yeah, so when readers do read, you know, you um, you know it all in your head, but to, to know it, but then mm -hmm. you get that perfect little bit on the page that does make you feel like, you know, they're there. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, and I love the fact that you've also been there and that you've seen it. Yep. Um, I think that's amazing. So what is next for this series? Do we have another book upcoming? I don't think I see one on pre-order. I, I like don't, that. I don't tend to do pre-orders with this because I kind of write, um, I mean, I have a lot of series going on and, and I, I don't like that sort of pressure of pre-orders. Right. Um, plus I've had um, <clears throat> the big river um, mess with my pre-orders in the past. So um, yeah. I'm just like, I try to avoid them. So I just kind of let people know, Hey, it's coming. Okay. Here okay. it is. You okay. know? There <laughs> but, are more coming in the series. Oh because, yeah. Like you know, our readers at Twisty Tales, they love to continue what yeah. we've out and when they've um, gotten a hold of prolific works or asking questions like okay is this going to be more in this book series oh and yeah make sure that they yeah. know that when we put in the show notes to follow you everywhere this yes. is your book definitely so, this is my most popular yeah. series with readers like they love this series and I love writing her she's so much fun so there's definitely going to be some fun things in the future uh, with her. Um, I just kind of, um, whenever I have a great idea and I, I, so I, I try to put out at least one a year yeah. with her. Um, right. and you know, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's, you know, this year it was a book, it was a novel and a novella. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we'll just, um, I'm not sure yet what the next one will be, but there will be one out next year. Awesome. Sure. Well, where can we follow you, stalk you all over? Oh, well, I am on Facebook, of course. You can go to my website, which is just shayamacloud.com. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Um, in theory, I have a TikTok, but I don't really <laughs> post there. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, you can find my books on Amazon, Kobo, um apple barnes and noble the library uh you know so i'm all over the place <laughs> that, is awesome. that is awesome and do you have anything you'd like to say to the readers read my book and then she's gonna charge you for it so go <laughs> grab it that's right so get this now and also when you're finished reading you know, you should have already signed up for prolific works, but you know, if you haven't signed up for my, for my, uh, newsletter, do so because I send you a, a book, a little cookbook, a little tiny cookbook of Lady Rample cocktails and cakes. It's only for my readers on my newsletter. I don't send it to anybody else. It's not available to buy. Um, it's just a cute little book, uh, ebook that I will send you and you can try some of the, the cakes and cocktails that you read about in Lady Ramble. I love that. And I'll make sure that I put that in our show notes as well. Golly, mm. now you're making my little writer mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much. I, I told you 15 minutes and we've gone over, but you're so delightful. <laughs> hearing all about it as a reader myself and um everybody you're gonna love this series not just this book and we want to thank shaya for being here thank thanks you for so having much. me and everybody go follow her everywhere yeah. and make sure that you grab lady rample and the lady in the lake while it is available at prolific works thanks everybody mm -hmm. have a thank good night thank you so much bye bye What a fun interview. 
I would love to thank today's guest for sharing with us their addition in the Twisty Tales and Cozy Crime Prolific Works giveaway, year-long giveaway. So be sure to grab this episode's book for free, and you can do that by going to the show notes and grabbing that link. And also, don't forget to be sure that you follow and stalk (laughs) this week's Spotlight author. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week on Shooting the Breeze.